And right now, a controversial plan to add amenities like a golf course to South Florida State Parks is now on hold following public backlash. Governor Ron DeSantis saying it's going back to the drawing board. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live in Northeast Miami-Dade with the latest on the State Park saga. Terrell. Well, the Great Outdoors Initiative, that is the working name of this controversial plan that was created without public input. But tonight, the governor is pushing back. The public protests and backlash hit a boiling point in recent days, with preservationists and politicians on both sides of the aisle fuming over a proposed plan to develop hotels, golf courses, and pickleball courts in some state parks across Florida. So much so that state officials have now pulled the plug on the idea. This was something that was leaked. It was not approved by, by, by me. I never saw, saw that. Governor uh, Ron DeSantis addressing the outcry for the first time Wednesday, but distancing himself from those controversial proposals crafted by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. They're not doing anything this year. They're going to go back and basically listen uh, to folks. A lot of that stuff was just half-baked and it was not ready for prime time. I'm absolutely breathing a sigh of relief. Maggie Winchester Weiler is the program manager for Florida's Ocean Conservancy Program. She raised environmental concerns with potential development that had been initially slated at nine parks, including Olita River State Park. Those mangrove ecosystems are incredibly fragile and that type of disruption is going to have effects on those ecosystems and the animals and wildlife that depend on them. Now, a number of planned public meetings to lay out the proposals have since been postponed. If there does need to be improvements, we're not going to take away any green space. Even if green space is not being reduced, there's still some concerns. So it is back to the drawing board, says the governor. He also says that any future uh, you know, construction projects uh, it, when it comes to these parks, if they happen, will be done with public input. Nonetheless, preservationists will certainly be watching this one very closely. We are live in North Miami Beach. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.